Yeah, that's why I did not respond to you. Yeah. So I have just had uh, the video sent to me. I mean, I mean the 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 preaching of Bruce about Jesus Christ having the desire for women and lust. Yes, I've just listened to it. Yes, and I really, to be honest, I really pity that man, Bruce. I really pity him. Yes, this is a sign. It's a sign that that man was not born again. Yes, he was preaching this message out of intellectual conception. But he lacks the revelation of God. Yes, this is evident enough to believe that that Bruce was not born again. He was preaching out of intellectual conception. Yes, and that's why he was interpreting the word of God through intellectual conception, but not through the revelation. Amen. So you see, I'm going to add a little bit about of what he said, which is contrary to the word of God. Because you see, in the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 22, 18, it says, If anyone add to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in the book. And if anyone remove the things that are written in this book, then God <clears throat> will remove uh, shall take away his part from the book of life. Amen. So we should not add or remove the things which are written in this holy book. Okay. So uh, if I may add a little, a little about uh, what Bruce has said, I that is an antichrist doctrine. It is not. The revelation of God. What Bruce has preached is not the word of God. It is contrary to the message of the hour. It is contrary to the Bible. Amen. Because you see, uh, according to the message of Linabranam, the prophet said that everything that Jesus thought was eternal. Everything that he talks Everything that he thinks was eternal. Okay? Why? Why was it eternal? Because Jesus was not born out of sex. You see, you read the Bible in the book of Matthew 1, I believe it's 1 verse 19, chapter 1 verse 19. He said Mary was found with the child of the Holy Spirit. So, he was not born out of sex the same way we were born. Okay, and that's why the Bible says he is the first begotten son of God because he was born right. Okay, he was, he was not born out of sex. So how can a man have lust, how can a man have desire for women when he was not born out of sex? He is the first begotten son of God. Okay. And the Bible says that we can only be sanctified by his blood of Jesus Christ. Why? Because there was no desire of sin. He was born right. He was the first begotten, begotten son of God. His blood was pure. And that's why we are sanctified. So if Jesus had lust... If Jesus had desire of women, then it means we, 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 we have to wait for another Jesus to sanctify us by his blood. So, I don't think, uh, I, I really feel sorry for that, Bruce. I really feel sorry for that. Yes, Bruce, that is an error. That is insanity. Okay? Everything... What came out of Jesus was eternal. Okay? And that's why Jesus he said, My will is to do the work of God. 
okay so when he say that he went when he went to the wilderness he was tempted because he has lust he was tempted because he had desire for women that is an error you see when jesus was baptized by john the baptist the spirit the double portion the holy ghost came upon him so how can a man have desire of women or of lust when he had a double portion in him okay he was dirty walking in the flesh okay so how can he be tempted because he had desire of lust and then he has a desire of women and he had lust when the holy ghost came upon him huh? amen so it's 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 contrary what Bruce is preaching, it is contrary, it is an heresy according to the Bible. Biggest heresy. He's trying to prove to the other people that even if they have desire of women, of lust, it is okay because Jesus had desire of women and sex. You see, this is an excuse for other people to live in the de, of, of to live in lust and desire with, of women because Jesus has had also desire for women. You see, Jesus Christ was the first begotten Son of God. Everything he said, everything he thought was eternal. He was not born out of sex. You see, the reason why we sometimes have desire, we used to have desire, we used to have lust. It, it is because we were born out of sex. And that's why that desire is still there. Do you understand? The reason why we have that desire is because we were born out of sex. And that's why we need to be born again. So that desire cannot be there. Okay? And that's why Paul said, eh, a man and not, not deprive themselves unless with a consent. Why? Why should not deprive themselves? Okay, it is because they should not be tempted. The reason why Paul was saying that a man and his wife should not deprive himself is because he knows the desire of lust is there. The desire of sex is there. And that's why he said you should not deprive each other. Why? Because we and all the prophets were born out of sex. And all the prophets. Only Jesus alone was born right not out of sex and that's why those desire those lust was not there and that's why his blood was pure and that's why we are sanctified by his blood because it's pure and holy there is no desire of women or lust and when he said when bruce is saying that uh, Jesus was tempted, he was showed the kingdom of the world, and that he, he, he saw the naked of, of women. Where was that written, that there was, there was naked women? You see, that is something that Bruce is adding. Okay? I know that Jesus was showed the kingdom and the wealth of the world. Okay? Satan wanted to give him to be the king of the world and all the wealth of the world. But not that he saw the nakedness of women. That is wrong. Very wrong. You see? So I thank you, Brother uh, Watson. That is very good to expose that doctrine. That is an uh, intellectual conception doctrine. That is a denominational spirit doctrine of denominational preachers. Yes, that is not the sign of one who is born again by this revelation of God. He should know to differentiate about who was born out of sex and who was born out of the Holy Spirit. So thank you, brother. God bless you so much. Send my greetings there. And just know that you are still marching on. Please pray for me. And take care. And have a good night.